Good morning. Happy Thursday. It's the end of July. It's July 29th, 2021. And this is the third time I'm going to attempt vlogging this summer. For some reason, I just cannot seem to get through a full day in my life. Um, nothing really exciting happens in the summer. So even though I have all the time in the world to film and edit, I have nothing to share that I feel is worth sharing. So today I'm going to do it. I am going to vlog the entire day, hopefully, and have it up Monday for you to enjoy. So let's see if you, um, if I actually follow through with this. But like I said, it's July 29th, 2021. Uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning and I have this kitchen to clean. We have the pool people coming to put chlorine and hook up the filter and shock the pool. It's been filled for a few days, but this is the earliest they could come. And sadly, it has like this like algae filmy tint to it because it's just still water and it's a lot of it. Um, I'll go out and share that with you in a moment. But I need to empty the dishwasher. We ran it last night and I have to put all these dishes that are laying around the kitchen counters into the dishwasher and start that up. Also have to make some breakfast. My voice is really raspy because it is so early. I've had one coffee this morning. I'll probably have a second and the dining room is still full of books. So I have to clear that off somehow and figure out a system for organizing my school materials for next year. That's basically all I've been doing for this month of July is organizing school materials. So yeah, nothing too exciting. Um, you have to let me know if you want to see any of that or I do have a school YouTube channel, Happily Organized Classroom. Nothing's uploaded to that yet and I've been toying with the idea of popping on a video there if you're interested any in any of the teaching um, content. Okay, so my camera memory card was filled. So I think I left off where I was talking about my classroom YouTube channel. But in any case, that another channel, another day. I'm gonna empty the dishwasher and um, get this kitchen cleaned up, make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make some muffins. We have some bananas that have gone a little ripe that we need to use. And then we're just gonna get on with our day. The sun is actually shining. It's been really overcast, cloudy, and rainy the last few days. But I thought I would take you along and fingers crossed, I actually make it through an entire day vlogging. <laughs> So dishwasher is all clean. Need to empty it. These need to go into it. This is what the rest of the kitchen is looking like. There is the sun coming through the patio doors. And this is what I mean by the dining room table is taken over by school books. So I need to find a home for these. These are all going to my classroom, but this is where they live during the summer. There. And there. And there. So let's get to cleaning so I can make another coffee and have some breakfast. deciding to use this recipe here that I found. I'm going to use this recipe here I found on bellyfull.com, no, .net. Um, we don't like heavy, dense muffins. Okay, we don't like really heavy muffins made with butter. We just um, never <gasps> eat them, so I <laughs> don't know what other explanation, but I found this recipe on bellyfull.net and I'm gonna flip the camera around and share with you the ingredients. It looks pretty simple and it only requires one bowl apparently. So I already got most of the ingredients down. We're switching gear, we're switching gears and making blueberry because that is what Madeline is requesting. So this is quick and easy one bowl blueberry muffins and you only need flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, oil, egg, milk, 
vanilla and blueberries and says you can use fresh or frozen i only have frozen we need to go grocery shopping so i'm going to make these and get them in the oven i already preheated it to 400. it makes 12 muffins and it bakes for 20 minutes Okay, muffins are in the oven. I'm going to grab some laundry out of our bedroom and throw that into the wash so I can put the towels on the line later on. I'm in my room so it's quite dark. There's no lights on. But I'm going to do that and the pool people are here. They're hooking up the pump to the pool and that's about it. Okay, we're home now. We dropped Connor off at a friend's house and um, Maddie's in the living room right now. I'm going to do a little bit of straightening up after. Um, I'm having one of the blueberry muffins. They really good so if i remember i'll leave the recipe link down below in the description box and the link to where i ended up getting the recipe um i did have a coffee somewhere so let's see if i can actually oh here it is <laughs> so i'm just going to drink my coffee and uh then straighten up this dining room i already did the dishes i have some clothes to put on the line and um yeah, that's where we're standing right now. The sun is coming out. It peaks in and out here and there. So it's sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's overcast. Uh, it's not the best summer though. That's all I can say. Um, okay, so I'm gonna drink coffee. And get some work done. Since we're outside and I just hung up the towels on the line before we go, I thought I would show you the backyard now. Um, that's the hot tub, obviously, and we've been getting tons of use out of that. Then over here we have the fire pit area, which it's only in phase one. We decided to wait. Ooh, that was a big butterfly. <laughs> wait to do the stone patio just because of time and we wanted to actually enjoy it so fire pit and this is what matt and i tackled last weekend it is a screen for a projector um and it's holding up pretty nicely it's actually this p kind of like a pvc material it's plastic um so it should stand withstand the weather but it is pretty big and we're very happy with it so 
This is this side of the backyard right now. And over here is the pool and I'll show that to you once I get up onto the deck. So there's the pool. The stairs need to be attached, but we have to wait for our carpenter to be able to do the railing. It looks disgusting. Um, it is completely brown because the shock is in it and we still have to add the chlorine. Wowzers. later now it's two o'clock I just ran downstairs and I put a few clothes in the dryer and I hung up the towels outside on the line since it's breezy and sunny and we have a clothesline so we might as well use it but I've just been working on doing some of my schoolwork for next year for the past two hours this afternoon Connor's at a friend's and Maddie is just upstairs in her bedroom um, but we're gonna get ready to take her over to her acro camp. It's starting today and it runs the weekend into Monday, so it's five days. And she absolutely loves acro and has a lot of fun doing it. So we're gonna be heading over there. It takes about 25 minutes or so to get to the location. So we'll have to, it starts at 2.45. So we'll have to leave probably in, I'd say 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna let her know that and get some water for her and we're gonna head out the door and I have to find out when we have to pick Connor up. And other than that, today is still not a very busy day, but I am going to power through it. So I have something to post on Monday for you all to watch and enjoy. But let me know down in the comments if there's any video requests because I'm honestly, holding a blank when it comes to video ideas right now and I really want to hear from you so I'm gonna go and get her ready and we're gonna head over to Acro. It's much later now it's 5 50 and we just got home from Maddie's Acro camp and I am just heating up some bagel bites for Connor we don't know what we're having for dinner anyway we're gonna figure out something to have um, we actually so we realized the pool is very dark and that is because to do with our well water we didn't even take that into consideration it's filled mainly with the city water but we filled the 18 inches on the bottom for with our well and it's the chemicals um, when we shock the pool are reacting and it's rust so we have a big cleaning project ahead of us here it's not i'm not looking forward to that but it is what it is and i'll share with you what it looks like so the pool itself looks fabulous but the water is super dark because of i think like the ph levels off i don't know i did not do well in chemistry <laughs> so it does not look like we are going to be enjoying the pool anytime soon i think once we finish it up we'll have to clean it Get it ready we still have to remove this railing behind me and connect the current deck to a new deck with it and sarah's going down to the hot tub so yeah that's where we stand right now um it turned out to be a really nice day but i'm gonna go in and figure out something for dinner do a little more schoolwork, and then i think i will end this vlog later on but i just wanted to check in and share with you what we've been doing so far Okay, so it is 9.17. I am actually going to end this vlog. I don't know how exciting it was today, but I actually managed to film from morning to night. So I do have a day in the life to share with you. So hopefully I'll have this video posted up on Monday and you all can enjoy it. If you enjoy day in my life videos, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a comment in the comment section. I love communicating and chatting with all of you. So until the next video, I'm just gonna eat my chocolate ice cream as my bedtime snack, and we'll see you again in another video very soon. Take care everyone, I hope you're all staying safe, and we'll see you again shortly. Night.